Hello everyone, this is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. So the social media platform Instagram plans on censoring direct messages. Now exactly what do they mean by that? Let's get into this article and find out and then I'm going to give you my opinion. An article starts off, Instagram, the image sharing platform owned by Facebook, now known as Meta, plans to mandate a, mandate a previously optional feature that automatically censors a list of prohibited words in direct message, DM, requests and story replies. The feature called, quote, hidden words was introduced last year, but was not switched on by default. Instagram creators could go into their settings and enable it, but the tool was not in wide use. Instagram now plans to switch the features on for all creators with, quote, get this now, anti-discrimination organizations contributing to the platform's list of censored terms. Are you getting it now? <laughs> Via reclaimed the net. Hidden words uses a predefined list of offensive terms and filters DM requests and story replies that contain these terms into a separate hidden request folder. Instagram says it worked with, quote, leading anti-discrimination and anti-bullying organization to develop the list of terms. Users of hidden words can also create their own list of custom words, phrases, or emojis that they want filtered with DM requests and story replies. However, the prede predefined list of terms that was developed by Instagram and the anti-discrimination and anti-bullying organizations isn't revealed to users. Instagram said that it would also be expanding its hidden words filter filtering to, quote, spot and hide more intentional misspelling of offensive terms. For instance, if someone uses a number one instead of a I. In addition to the word word filtering tool, Instagram also plans to expand, quote, nudges, which warns users when they are about to reply to a message or a comment that the platform's systems considers to be offensive. Oh, man, it's clear what that means. The platform also plans to expand the block feature, allowing users to block not just individual accounts, but other accounts operated by the block individual. And that's the end of that article. Now. That's pretty straightforward. I don't really need to say much right there. I don't really need to say much except to say, once again, the midterms are coming in November. We're almost there. We're fast approaching. And what I see, what I plainly see, okay, is another attempt to censor words and phrases from social media platforms that support this leftist agenda. Another attempt of, of these social media platforms, big tech, to censor, censor phrases and censor people whose worldview differs from their own. That's all I see right there. That's all I see. I don't see anything else. Now, what I think the solution to this simply is, because when you when you hear a lot of this type of stuff with the big text censoring people's languages and speech and so forth, because I, I'm, I, to the way I see it clearly it's going to be, OK, we're going to censor conservative voices or voices that come against the leftist agenda or leftist voice. That's what it is. It's political the way I see it. I think the answer simply to that simply is this. You're going to have, we're going to have to come to the point where we're going to have to tell people word of mouth. Just simply tell them word of mouth, you know, look for opportunities or wait for opportunities for people who are receptive to the conservative worldview. Just and all you do, you give your opinion. Look, this is what I think X, Y and Z. I think these policies are good. I think these policies are not good because let's face it. The big tech companies, for whatever reason, they support a worldview. That is against capitalism, but yet they've supported their capitalist organization, but they support a worldview that is against capitalism. Doesn't make sense, does it? But I'm not going to go into the details about why they do that in this video. That may be in a future video, but. It's hard to really get through what you want to get through it with, with your worldview, particularly if it's a conservative worldview or an independent worldview. OK, or any worldview that contradicts their leftist agenda or leftist worldview. That is clearly what this is leading up to. And I see what it is about all about. So my solution to that is you, we're going to have to come to the point where we're going to have to start sharing information with people by word of mouth. By word of mouth or or sending them texts, you know, get their number or whatever and send them a text if they want to hear. That's what it's going to come down to or create our own platforms like Donald Trump did. I think it's called Truth, Truth Social. 
I think that's what it's called. I don't know exactly how uh, uh, good that particular social media outlet is doing. But from, from Trump, let me know in the comment box below. But but that's one of them. Uh, Parlor, I think, is one of them. But I think uh, Kanye West is supposed to be purchasing that. He's supposed to be buying Parlor. Okay, we'll see how that go. That's a whole other story. I'm not going to get into that. But either we have to tell people word of mouth or create our own social platforms. That's the only other way because technically speaking, these Facebook and Instagram and all these platforms are privately owned. So they have the right to say, I don't want you on my platform if they want you. They have that right. You can try to sue them like Trump has tried to sue, but it, it, you're not going to get anything because they have a right to they have the right to say, I don't want you to be on my platform. They have that right. It's sick, but they have that right. You know, so it is what it is. That's what I wanted to say about that. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. God bless you all and see you again.